For many people, raising cattle isn't just a job, it's about continuing a legacy that was started many generations ago. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck takes us to Oregon to see how the experts at the Natural Resources Conservation Service are helping one ranch manage and improve its land and water. The Collins family has lived in this part of Oregon since 1873. Jim Bob Collins is the fourth generation to work on his family's ranch, Table Mountain Cattle Company. We were primarily Hereford outfit forever. My grandmother said the Hereford cows were paying the bills for this long, we're gonna keep on doing it. So my dad just stuck with it and we went into it. I've been switching over to more of a black Angus and now I'm actually changing gears again, I'm going to red Angus. And we're gonna do an F1 cross with the Hereford uh, bloodlines involved and just have that nice red bolly face. One of the reasons Table Mountain Cattle Company has been around so long is their belief that properly managing the operation's natural resources, like the soil and water, leads to success in the cattle business. My great uncle Jim was really passionate about good grasses, and he taught my dad, dad would always talk about him when he talked about how to run cattle and how to, how to, how to take care of the ground. And uh, great uncle Jim would always preach, uh, do you take care of the grass, the grass will take care of you. So you need to protect your ground and you're gonna work with that to help you stay viable as a family for generations. I mean, I would not be here if it wasn't for, for good conservation starting in the 1900s. For years, the Collins family has worked with the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service to protect and preserve their natural resources. NRCS provides financial and technical assistance to farmers, ranchers, and other private landowners who want to make improvements to their land and resources. I came to the Condon Field Office, and Jim Bob's family had had a long history of conservation, so they'd worked with NRCS uh, for quite some time. First and foremost, he's willing to try about anything, which is great, um, as long as it makes sense. Uh, you know, he's open to conservation that um, helps the bottom line and also helps his land. One of the early steps the Collins family took was creating a conservation plan with NRCS. The agency analyzed and evaluated the ranch and offered advice on some long-term conservation practices that could help improve the operation and its natural resources. That all starts with a conservation plan, you know, with putting all those ideas and coalescing them into a plan that we go out and we understand what the resource concerns are that Jim Bob is facing, not only by talking to him, but also, you know, looking at ourselves and taking the inventory of the property. And then coming up with some solutions and planning them out, you know, not just one year, two years, five years. We're looking 10 years down the road. We're not in this business to do it for a year. We're in this business to do it for a lifetime. If you look at a larger scale, they're gonna be trickle down effects for tens of years. We could be getting into some stuff that's gonna be beneficial for you for a hundred years when we get some of these bigger projects. One important project Jim Bob worked on with his local NRCS team was cleaning and repairing the stream that runs through his property. We're on the upper end of what is called Mountain Creek. The water from this way north, it's all gonna run down into the John Day River and that'll go into the Columbia from there. The creek at one point had been kicked over along the base of the hill back behind us, and that took it away from running through the gravel bars that live naturally in the bottom of the valley. And it also took it away from a lot of curvature that the steelhead and the salmon need to help slow that water down, to help the, the finer gravels to get deposited for, for what they need for spawning. And we took out any passage issues like small culverts and replaced them with bridges, and we helped to build this out. And we fenced them off so those plantings would, 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 heal, would, would be protected from the cattle from grazing. It was about five or six years we broke this project up over, and it was a lot of work and it has had a ton of benefit because we were able to recreate floodplains, and by doing that, we were able to redeposit some of the some of those soils back on the meadow to fill in the low spots, so it would irrigate more efficiently. In addition, water development has allowed for better distribution of livestock within the pastures. NRCS helped Jim Bob place stock tanks in strategic locations that would draw the cattle away from sensitive riparian areas. I know um, on Jim Bob's place, he's done a lot of these uh, spring developments um, and then also these troughs that you can kind of see behind me where um, they put these troughs in that are funded by the NRCS and um, it basically for water development to keep animals off the creeks um, and try to utilize more grass 
that are up in areas that are harder to reach that animals aren't normally going to because there's no water to keep them up there. It's been great. I mean, that, that, uh, that by allowing that water to go to the top of the hill, it pulled those cows off of those riparian zones on the bottom and helped them scatter out and do so much better. Like that pasture looks much better now because those tops are getting grazed evenly uh, along with the bottoms. Jim Bob knows he wouldn't have accomplished as much on his operation without the help of NRCS, and he hopes other farmers and ranchers will turn to the agency for financial and technical assistance with their own conservation projects. Don't be afraid of these programs. They are not being required by you to do them. They're being offered as a benefit to you. A small project could turn into a big project, could turn into a lifetime of cooperative agreements and cooperative working together. We are a trusted partner that landowners can feel safe with, that we have their interests at our heart. They know that we are here for them. And whether that is to provide technical assistance with just a simple question that has a, you know, a little resource concern somebody has, all the way to financial assistance Honestly, I haven't met really any, any people from NRCS that I disliked. They're all good people, and they're really trying. They understand that their job is to help make agriculture positive and to help keep it in a positive financially as well. Reporting from Oregon, I'm Matt Fleck for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. If you have conservation practices you'd like to put in place on your own operation, you should start by visiting with your local NRCS office about the technical and financial assistance they can provide. Go to their website, nrcs.usda.gov, to find an office near you.